Uh, page 8 there, Matthew 28 and Mark 16, these are the scriptures uh, that we were basing our, our, our fundamental basics, you might say, are foundational. And then we're going to uh, go into how to do these things. Uh, in Matthew 28, verse 18, it says, And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power, King James, all power. The original Greek says, All authority, all authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore. Why? In his all authority. So here's the first sacred cow you can kill right now. When you go out and minister to the sick, you are not ministering in any level of your own authority. You are ministering in the all authority of Jesus Christ. You're there in his name. Now, if you're going to minister, people say, well, I have this much authority, and if I'm faithful, God will give me more authority. Uh, that, that is true in some things, not in healing. Right? In healing, it is not true, because in healing, you are going out, and you're praying for people in the name of Jesus. Now, if you're laying hands on them and using your name, then that's one thing, right? But if you're going out and using the name of Jesus, you're using his authority. And when you use his authority, that means there is not a devil in hell or a sickness from hell, which they're all from hell, okay, just so you know. There's not a devil or a sickness that is able to resist you in the name of Jesus. I don't care if you've been a believer for 50 years or for five minutes. The, the strongest devil is no match to the weakest, newest Christian that knows their authority in Christ. Amen? And so a lot of what you're going to be getting uh, this week is twofold. Number one, you're going to get a revelation of your authority through Jesus Christ and of his authority in you. And number two, you're going to get a revelation of your responsibility to be your brother's keeper. That's the two things you're going to be getting, right? Now, 